So here we got Miss Karma. Um, she's a bit more of an intense girl. Um, <clears throat> so I'm thinking her numbers are going to be a little bit higher again um, than some dogs, um, especially that um, higher than Coda's. Um, so I get to see kind of the difference. Um, she gets a bit more um, fixated. She gets um, into a bit more distraction mode pretty uh, a lot more intensely than, than Coda does. Coda's a bit more happy-go-lucky uh, when it comes to that, where she gets a bit more fixated. Um, <clears throat> and just a bit more intense kind of about everything, about whining, about, um, yeah, about play. Hey, like that, you can see. Sit down. Hey, Coda. Or, Karma, sit. So you can see kind of that going on. Um, <clears throat> so you'll see the difference here. So same thing, we'll start at zero, and we'll find her point of perception right now. There we go. So she's at a 14 right now. Oh, I'm going to work that down a little bit so I can... 12. Karma. Good. That's actually a 10. I'll show you that on the camera. I'll just adjust the dial so that um, the light illuminates here so you can hopefully see that better. 10. right away a bit more intense about the sniffing. Karma, come on. Karma. Good. So they're just dialed up because the distraction level is a bit higher. Dialed up to a 20. There you go. Hopefully the it's picking it up this time. Dial back down now a little bit. There you go. Shake it off, girlfriend. You're being a little rock star, just follow me pretty good, hey? And you see she's a bit more um, intense about trying to shake off the collar because it's something different. Um, I don't know if you can see it from that far away, but hopefully you can. If not, try and zoom in. Karma, come on. Come on. Good. There you go. Come on. Go, girl. There you go, hey? There you go. No. There you go, reboot that computer. So you see right away there, with a little bit of praise, she gets excitable, jump in, stuff like that. Um, and that's why I'm glad I got kind of unlimited time with her, um, being that she's an owner of Surrender. I'm no rush to try and find her a new home, and um, her owners are kind of keeping up with these videos too, which is awesome, or her previous owners keeping up with these videos, so that's pretty awesome. So there I'm not stimming, she's just trying to shake just to um, try and get the collar off because it's something new. Come on. Good girl. There you go. I'm going to sit. <laughs> Good stretch. Okay, sit. Good. There you go. Come on. Come on. Good girl. And one of the big reasons I'm e-collar training her too, even though I don't know if the new owners, uh, when I find new owners for her, will um, follow through with the e-collar, is just because, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, sit, sit, thank you, um, is just so that they have some control with her off leash, um, if she does all of a sudden get a little bit elevated, um, so they're able to communicate with her and bring her back before she causes any trouble or any other dogs kind of cause trouble. And I want to set this girl up to be as successful as possible. Um, so I'm going to be real picky about um, the home she goes to and um, and they, they'll they get our lifetime support too. Um, so hopefully they'll take advantage of that. Um, but yeah, I want to do whatever I can to make sure that she can be successful in a new home and, um, and yeah, have a lot of fun too and make sure that the owners are well equipped to um, to handle whatever scenario they want with her. So um, hopefully she can get a lot of off-leash freedom and 
um, they'll keep up with e-collar and stuff like that so that um, they can all just have a good time, be safe, be respectful, um, and just enjoy life. Enjoy the beautiful Okanagan that we live in. Lots of hikes, hopefully. Karma. Girl, there you go. Girl, sit. Sit. Good job. There you go, monkey. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, sit. There you go, proud of you, monkey. Feel nice? Okay. So as you see, she's not wanting to wander as far away. Um, I'm sure as soon as I get the other dogs out, she will. Um, and I'll hopefully take some videos of that. That'll be on my Facebook or, or Instagram or something like that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so every dog's a little bit different in that sense, right? Some will want to venture off right away and um, others will just like being closer into the bubble and also it'll depend on distraction, distractions too. So I'm sure as soon as I get the crew out, she's going to be a bit more um, wanting to be out and about because um, she can be a bit more intense about her um, drive to play, um, whereas Koda will probably be um, a bit more out and about, but not necessarily interacting so much with the other dogs. Um, that's my assumption. We'll see how how it all goes, but that's ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, uh, sit down. There you go. Um, that's my assumption based on kind of what's going on. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, sit. Good. Um, yeah, and the reason I'm making her sit there is just because she gets a little worked up. I don't know if you heard that whining. If she doesn't have a, a job to do at the moment to clear direction, she tends to get a bit whiny. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Sit. Sit. Good. So lots of patience and impulse control for this girl. Uh, but yeah. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Leave any comments or questions below. Thank you.